Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. Today is Thursday, November 5th, 2020, and this is video number 49. I thank all of you for stopping by. I hope you have something to drink and a project to work on. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some cross stitch information, some new releases I'll show at the end of the video projects I've been working on and just cross stitch news in general. So I did get a great response to the new release section. Again, everybody seems to really like that section. A lot of people work, they're not on social media to see that the, the designers have posted new charts that they have released to us. So I try and grab as many as I can pictures to show you and things that I've bought. And that way, you know, of some of the new charts that are coming out too. So Let's get started with some cross stitch news. Um, in my stitching group, I have a Facebook group. It's called Stitching 911. It's all about cross stitch and it's a lot of fun. We uh, post, I always post new releases and any cross stitch information that might come, you know, come out through the, that I want my members to know about. So I'll pass on some news that you may have already seen in the group, you're a member of the group. And, um, but news, I want to tell you about a free kit, a free chart that was offered by the Bay Needle Art this past week. It's very cute. I'll show a picture here. It is available on their blog, bythebayneedleart.blogspot.com. And they said, we could all use a little love. I agree. <laughs> um, so I'm going to link the blog spot down below. I'm hoping I'll link it the right way. If you have any problems, just send me an email. My email is listed down below in the notes. The Book of Days 2021. People have asked when it's coming out. Now, this is my Book of Days 2020, and I put the sticker here, but normally it would look like this. <laughs> but I, if you guys follow Brenda and the Serial Starter, they show theirs quite a bit. I am also a sticker person. I've been, I've collected stickers for years and they happen to show their calendar full of stickers. I'll show mine. October, I tried to make it real orange. So it was like Halloween, like fall colors. So here's what mine looks like. The book of days is actually a calendar January through December. And what I do is I mark my projects. So here I worked on Snooty Parrots by Barbara Anna Designs. The next day I didn't do any cross stitching. This day I worked on Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. So I like to keep notes on the side. I again I do post lots of stickers in mine, but November is just getting started, so I haven't posted hardly anything yet. But this is such a great calendar to keep track of what you're working on. Here's my August full of information and information on stitch alongs that I'm working on and themes like I did animals in August. I stitched on cross stitch projects that were animal related, which was easy for me to do because I do a lot of animals and I just love keeping my notes. So I had a lot of people ask, when is 21, uh, 2021 coming out? It's out now. I ordered mine through Etsy. It's a shop called Needle Case Goodies. And so mine's in the mail. It's on, it should be, I don't know if it's on the, in the mail, but it should be coming out within a week or so. And um, so keep an eye out. I know kittenstitcher.com will probably have some. I did not, I don't believe I saw them yet, but keep an eye out because I did hear they're coming out now. I did my pre-order through Needle Case Goodies on Etsy. So mine should be arriving hopefully in the next couple weeks. It's just a great fun book to keep track of your needlework. And that even the introduction, when you open the first page, it just has so many cute pictures, a wonderful introduction. It's got pretty little pictures like that. And it's just full of, you, you could just open it to any month and it's got little scenes. It's got little pictures up here. Down here, it's got a, you know some scenes. So it's just a fun book. So 2021 is coming out any day if if it's not already out so um i think mine said pre-order so it should be coming soon i went to order you know everybody knows kittenstitcher.com is a wonderful cra uh, craft shop she has mostly cross stitching she is getting some wool now that i think about it 
I was just asking a friend of mine about some wool, where to get different piece cutting, different cuts of different sizes of wool. And if you guys can recommend any good shops, I found the cutest little penguin. He's a wool penguin that you put together, but I, I needed some odd cuts, like a real thin, long cut. What well, I think it was 12 inches by five eighths of an inch. So most of the things that I'm finding for wool cuts are eight by eight. And I, if you guys have some ideas of where I can look to find all sorts of cuts, I guess, of wool, but I thought about doing this pump, this penguin. I if I don't I don't know if I still have a picture of him to show you guys, but he's adorable. And uh, so I thought, well, maybe I'll try putting him together and see if it comes out. So anyway, again, if you guys have ideas of what shops, maybe on Etsy or some shops that sell wool that might have a cut that's a little bit different than a a solid square, let me know. But anyway, Kitten Stitcher is fantastic, fantastic service shipping. And she, I get a lot of my cross stitch supplies, thread, fabric, tons of charts, all the new releases, almost all the new releases. And it's a fantastic website. So I went to order and I forgot that she is a way, if you go to her website and you notice, you can put things in your your shopping cart. That's another thing I like about her is that if you need to log out or you know you, do, you just need to close it out for some reason and then two days later you think oh I wanted to order that your shopping cart is still there it doesn't just disappear like some websites it's kind of frustrating because if you get distracted or something comes up and you can't purchase at that time you go back into your shopping cart and it's been cleared so then you have to go look all over again but anyway kittenstitcher.com you can go back to your cart and it just sits there I love that so many times I've gone back weeks or two weeks later and my shopping cart is still there that shows the products that I wanted to buy. But if you try using her website this week, it is the website's open. You can fill up your shopping cart, no problem. But she says the payment site has been shut off while she's traveling. So she said from November 1st through November 7th, Saturday, the payment option will be shut down just until she gets back uh, she said she's going to a retreat, put things in your cart. You just can't complete the transaction. And she says when she does come back, any orders on the 7th and the 8th, they won't be processed until Monday. So if you notice that and you think something's wrong, don't. I wouldn't send her an email because <laughs> she's going to be bombarded with emails. Just know that the purchasing option is off right now. It will be turned back on this weekend, 7th and 8th, and the orders won't be processed until Monday. Also, the Carolyn Manning Stitch Along has started in my group on Facebook, Stitching 911. It's been fantastic. You should see the variety. When you look at Carolyn Manning, at least for me, months ago, I would see her new releases. They're beautiful. But to me, I started thinking they're really not, they're not something I think I would stitch. Some of them are geometrics. I'm going to show you one right now while we're talking about Carolyn Manning. I started turquoise. This is an example of what I'm talking about as far as geometric. So I started turquoise, Ugh, the glare. I'm here in my living room today. In fact, right across from the camera is where I sit and stitch. My TV's here, I watch floss tube. I always decorate my mantle. So the lighting here is a little weird. My hair is like yellow. It looks yellow. <laughs> it looks like I'm missing hair up in here. So the lighting's a little strange. So anyway, I started turquoise for the Carolyn Manning Stitch Along on November 1st in my stitching group. The hashtag is Stitch Manning 911. So you'll see it pop up on Facebook in that group. You'll also see it on Instagram. There's been several people posting their progress. So I started turquoise, but this is an example of Carolyn Manning. So when you look at this, and when I looked at previous charts she had released, I thought, you know, this just isn't for me. I'm not, I wasn't real interested, I guess. Then I started seeing she had a variety. She has snowmen. She's got these beautiful trees. Like it's like a tree with little figures in them and they're adorable. So there's been lots of variety, not just the same types of charts, which I, which I think is just so much fun. I think it's been really fun having a stitch along by designer. So that way everybody gets to choose their chart instead of everyone doing the same chart, which is fun, but this way we get a lot of variety. So 
Anyway, while I have this out, I may as well show you. So I started this on Picture This Plus Legacy. I just grabbed a piece of fabric because this is like a little mini full coverage. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna frame the fabric anyway. So it doesn't really matter what I'm stitching on. So what I did is I started on turquoise with a two and a half inch border. And wherever I got this fabric from, it's running crooked. So I measured a real nice distance. Now it's starting to go off this way, but I will have enough room. I decided to go ahead and continue. I was gonna take, I was just gonna restart it, but that's my progress. And I think it's pretty, I hate to restart it. I also was really fighting. This is 32 count, picture this plus, I believe it's legacy. And what's strange is I've been stitching a lot on R&R &R fabric and lakeside fabric and Seraphim, which are not as tight of a fabric, at least I don't think. This particular cut that I've got is super tight. So I was really fighting the needle that I was working with. I decided to go with a bigger needle, thinking that the holes would open up more if I used a bigger needle. I fought with that even worse. So I went back to a smaller needle, uh, you know, a thinner needle, and it's working out much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the, this, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this even though you can see the narrowing, it's kind of hard to show you. The narrowing is here, so this chart's gonna kind of go crooked. But that's okay, because like I said, I'm not, I will have enough room for framing. I'll have about an inch and a half, and I'm not gonna frame any of the fabric anyway. So it's it'll, it'll work out okay. I'm not gonna have to restart it or anything like that. I did wanna show that I used my project tracker that I showed in the last video. Now, these are so great. It is S Ward Designs on Etsy. They are wonderful project trackers, which I started filling out. It lists the project name, designer, fabric, any notes that you wanna put, like here I put Stitch Manny 911, so I would remember the hashtag. I also think it's fun to start circling the days, so I'll know how many days that it took me to work on it. She has two-year trackers, she has um, monthly, I think it was, all kinds of fabric, um, floss and fabric, so you can keep track of all of your information. So S W S Ward Designs or S, it's S Ward Designs on Etsy. I'll link it below, and but check them out because this is really, I think it's S Ward, W-A-R-D Designs on Etsy. So check it out. I highly encourage it. It's been a lot of fun filling this out. And now I can tell you exactly what the fabric is. I don't have to say, well, I think this is the fabric. I love these trackers. I'm gonna probably end up getting more. <laughs> she was so kind to send me some to use. So I wanted to tell you about a new floss tuber that has five videos now, and he is so much fun to watch. His name is Scott Stitches in Spain. I was actually supposed to meet Scott this past October in the Netherlands for Dutch Mania, but unfortunately due to the pandemic, it was canceled, so we didn't get to meet. But he is on Instagram, he is a lot of fun. He actually is from California, grew up here, and now lives in Spain. And I'll let him tell you more about himself in his videos, but if you get a chance to check him out, it's so worth it. You know, I've had some a lot of sadness the last few weeks. This whole summer really has been a sad summer for our family because we've had a lot of loss. And, you know, there's times where I'll turn floss tube on and I'm listening and, you know, I love all the floss tubers that I watch. But I tell you what, it, it there's been a couple that have just made me laugh so hard and Scott was one of them. I turned on his video the other day and watched his last video, which I believe was number five. I'm not kidding you, I was just cracking up and my husband goes, what are you laughing at? I go, you gotta watch this guy, he's so funny. Anyway, so he's in Spain now and he travels extensively like I do. In fact, Scott, I don't know if you're watching, but this is the camel from Dubai that I told you about. This is the, I believe it's right here, the elephant from India that I was telling you about. So he had mentioned on his last video that they had a, gotten an owl from Greece. So I mentioned, I had written to him on Instagram and uh, told him how much I enjoyed the video, but it was, I was so disappointed not to get to meet 
Scott at Dutch Mania, but for sure, we're gonna plan on uh, all of us meeting. There's so many different people that are going next year. It's gonna be so much fun. So I can't wait to meet you, Scott. And if you guys get a chance to watch Scott Stitches in Spain's Floss Tube, I highly recommend it because he will have you laughing like never before. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, Scott, for making me laugh and taking away some of my gloom and <laughs> so funny. But I love hearing about his travels too. And hopefully we can all go back to traveling someday because I sure miss it. And we had a cruise to Australia. Or, um, we flew, we were, we were supposed to fly into Sydney the last week of January. And that got canceled, of course. And we also had a cruise coming up in December, which is just a short one. But the Australia cruise would have been a lot of fun. I would have gotten to meet some really fun people down there. One of my favorites, uh, floss tuber is Dizzy Stitcher, Darren. He's down in uh, Queensland area, north of Sydney. And I would have probably, hopefully have gotten to meet him and um, a few friends that we have down there as well. So we were supposed to go to Sydney and New Zealand. So we'll have to reschedule that. No doubt in my mind we will. And darn it. <laughs> But I also have my surgery. I uh, have been avoiding the surgery scheduler for months now, as you guys know. He caught me. <laughs> Darn it. I have to call him after this video, but it's looking like it will be December 30th. The, or I have to choose, but I think I chose December 30th if it's still available. We'll see. Um, I don't know if those dates have been filled yet. He called me yesterday and we played phone tag. So, Okay, let's talk about giveaways. We had some wonderful giveaways from some viewers that donated some charts. Last video, I showed the Blackberry Rabbit. Happy Halloween, October 31st, 1693 is the Salem Witch Trials. And this chart is, the glare, in, like I mentioned before, the lighting's a little weird. I feel like my hair is yellow. If I didn't say that already, I feel like my hair's a little yellow and... <laughs> So the lighting's kind of weird. Anyway, this was giveaway number one. I have a winner. It was done by the random Google selector. Winner number one. I think we had like 480 or almost 500 comments. Um, let's see. The Blackberry Rabbit Happy Halloween is Kay Walker. K-A-Y-E Walker. She says that her brother's birthday is October 31st. So there you go. This is your chart, Kay. Congratulations. My email address is stacer5 at AOL.com, S-T-A-C-E-R number five, at AOL.com, send me an email, K with your, ad with your um, address, and I'll get your chart out to you. Congratulations. Number two we have is Lila's Studio, All Hollows Eve, another one donated, and this particular person donated a chart for, I don't want to take it out of the sleeve because this is going to be someone's chart. But I also they also donated enough charts to where I could give away some in my Facebook group. So I thought that was so nice. Thank you. You know who you are. They did not want to be identified. But how cute is this chart? Lila's Studio. All Hallows Eve. The winner is Maureen Baron. B-A-R-A-N. Baron. She says she doesn't have a lot of time to track the new releases, so that's one of her favorite sections of my floss tube. Thank you, Maureen. Send me an email. This is your chart. You won. B-A-R-A-N. Yay, I'm glad you won. Okay, next up we had the doubloon fabric, 28 count by Picture This Plus. It's a real pretty color. Kind of get a better idea. 28 count doubloon. It's a really good cut too. It is 18 by 27. Now this is fun because she is one of my Zoom uh, friends. She has become a friend. We belong to several groups together uh, in the same groups. We've be, And like I said, I've gotten to know her really well through our Zoom meetups. She's a lot of fun. And her name is Rita DePolatis. Rita, oh my gosh, you won the fabric out of all those comments. There was a lot of comments for this fabric, hundreds, and you won, Rita. So congratulations. I'll be talking to you real soon, and I'll get your address from you. Number four, 16 count haunted fabric by Picture This Plus. It's a pretty, really pretty spooky color, perfect for Halloween colors. 
um, Halloween charts. Stitching is my happy place is the winner. So get a hold of me, you guys. Congratulations to all four winners. And I will get your fabric and your charts mailed out to you. Giveaways are so much fun. And I cannot thank you guys enough. Those who have sent me charts to offer as giveaways has just been wonderful. There's a lot of people that have already stitched charts that they don't want to stitch again and they think well I'll pass it along to someone else maybe a giveaway and they get a hold of me and ask and I'm more than happy to do it okay I'm going to show some more whips that I've been working on two more three more Mary 395 I didn't do a whole lot on, on this one I debated about even showing you it but this is Mary it's a beautiful chart I am on the third row so not a lot of progress on this one. This fabric I dyed myself with coffee and tea. Oh, and I bought a tripod, finally. So now I have the ability to angle my camera a little bit better for those that wanted to see a floss tag tutorial on how to make floss tags. Floss tags are, this is just a piece of, this is just thread, but this is the tag. You can make these with special paper. I made some last two couple weeks ago with Alice in Wonderland. I made some floss keeps. I'll show a picture here real quick. These are the floss keeps that I made of Alice in Wonderland. And I also made the floss tags to go with it. And I had a lot of people message me that they were interested in it. So what I did is I did a little D stash on my Instagram page and the people that purchased it, that money went towards giveaways. So the cost of mailing, shipping, nobody pays for that. I do, I don't mind at all. It is my pleasure to send you things. So I thought, well, let's do a D-stash just so I can maybe get a little bit of money for the shipping cost. And I can buy new charts and new fabric for you guys as giveaways. It worked out great. So I made some floss tags. I did some fall themed. I did Victorian Christmas, which I have more paper on. I will be doing another D-stash again because it was a lot of fun and people really enjoyed the things that I put up and that I made. So this is Mary. I got the S done and I'm working on the T. The color is probably true right about there below the R, S, and T. So she's coming along, she's really pretty. You can see how much detail is on, on the lettering. There's a lot of stitching in those letters. So that's Mary 395. I Another tutorial maybe I'll do is the coffee and tea dye. Just an idea of the fabric color. I think it came out perfect. I did not want a lot of modeling on it, so I just kind of dunked it. I didn't, I, I always wash my fabric wash it, uh, I shouldn't say wash, rinse it out. So when I did the coffee and tea dye, I like to have it rinsed out because I don't want a lot of like, is it acid that coffee has? I don't want a lot of that on my stitching. So I always wash my fabric really good and sometimes it lightens up a lot. So I just dunk it back in. So what I did is I dunked it back in, let it sit for about an hour and that's what I got. I'm, it's perfect. I'm really, really happy with that. I may do some fabric dyeing and maybe put that as a D stash because it's a lot of fun and you know people seem to really like the dyed fabric. Next up, whip wise, I worked on, let's see, Mary is on a 40 count fabric. That's what I dyed. And again, the, the floss that I showed before is Cranberry by Belsois. It's a silk. I mentioned last time that sometimes it leaves a little bit of fuzz around the letters. And um, I just take my finger, I just dab it, and I take my finger and it comes off. You can also use tape, anything sticky, just go around it and you can take the fuzz off, super easy. My next project that I worked on is Barbara Anna Designs Snooty Parrots. This fabric is my absolute favorite. And again, I'm using my project tracker by S Ward Designs. And you can see how many days I've worked on it. Snooty Parrots is on 32 count vintage pecan butter, which is my favorite, favorite fabric so far that I have ever worked on. So here's the chart. Let me show you the chart real quick. 
I'll take it out because I noticed that there's a more of a glare if I leave this in. This is Snooty Parrots by Barbara Anna. It's really pretty. Now you see how light this pink is? I changed it to the same color as the border. I left it red instead of that pink. I didn't like how light it was. And so 32 count vintage pecan butter. This is a stitch along with Debbie from Creatively Yours. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> and the hashtag for this is Snooty Parrots B Day Sal because we're doing the stitch along for Debbie's birthday that was in October. And this is my progress. So I got some of that, um, the a little more border done. I got the bottom part of the, the alphabet done. It's pretty. And I'm real happy that I changed that red to the border color red and not the pink. And the fabric, kind of see, vintage pecan butter, so pretty. It's a wonderful fabric. No wonder it's hard to find. <laughs> Okay, the last one that I wanted to show is Watermelon Tourmaline by Carolyn Manning. A fantastic, beautiful, beautiful. I just never thought that, I think I started to tell you earlier in the video that I saw these and I thought, oh, you know, they're pretty, but I don't, that's not really my style and I don't think I'd be interested in doing it. Oh my God, I'm so addicted to it right now. It's so beautiful. It's fun. It's relaxing. Someone asked me in comments, they said, but is it, you, you mentioned that it's relaxing. Is it really relaxing or is it, you're just saying that? No, it's actually relaxing. I can sit on a Zoom meeting like I did last night. In my group, we have Zoom meetups and I can stitch because it's repetitive. You can see the repetitive shapes, the repetitive colors, and you know how many stitches you need. Once you've done it that many times, you know how many stitches you need. So it's very relaxing. It's very, you don't have to think too hard. Like you're, like say you're working on a border on a sampler and you need to make sure that, that it's, the, the counting is perfect because otherwise the border won't line up. It's not like this. You can just relax and, and stitch shapes. And again, I never thought that this would be something I'd be interested in but I am, I really like it. So these are my colors. They're all DMC. Look at how beautiful these colors are. All DMC colors. Look at this one right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And even though I thought it wasn't my style, it's very much my style. It's so fun and relaxing. I'm so happy that I chose it. Okay, I'll show a little bit of haul and then I'm gonna do new releases. A little bit of haul that I got is The Four Little Girls by Mill on the Floss Samplers. This did come from France. It was fast shipping. You get all three of these in your chart. It's a real, it's a book. And let's see, it's charted for DMC and Ava's. What's Ava? Is it Alverisois? Alverisois silks. So silks and DMC. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna show it up close. Four little girls up close. There's the second one, isn't that beautiful? That's the one I'll, that I wanna start right there. It's gorgeous. So this is called Mill on the Floss Samplers. They're based, my package came from France. Fast shipping, I like booklets. I don't know if PDF was available, I can't remember. So just beautiful charts. They are color, but there's symbols on the color. So you can always copy it in black and white, like I do, if you like to highlight. But these chart, this whole booklet is just beautiful. So that's my first thing of stash that I got this past week. Next up, I got some fabric from Kitten Stitcher. I happen to be watching a floss tuber. I wanna say she's called the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche. I can see her face and I can't think of her name. Vintage Cross Stitch, Vintage Stitch Niche on Floss Tube. She has a Facebook group. She's doing 
a primitive hair and it is a pumpkin pie recipe. I'm gonna show a picture if I can find it. Oh my gosh, it, hers is gorgeous. But she had some fabric that was very similar to this color. So this color is pumpkin and spices, 30 count linen by the primitive hair. This color is what she did hers on, something similar. I believe she dyed it herself, she said. Um, I'm gonna link her floss tube below, but it's not the last one. It's probably about three or four videos back maybe that she, where she shows her pumpkin pie um, progress on this fabric. It is gorgeous. So I had to go out and try and find some. You know what, maybe I'll take it apart. So you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Because I haven't opened it yet. So black would be, oh, that's really pretty. Let me see if I can put something behind it. There we go. That's better. That's true right there. So really pretty, pretty fabric. I don't know. I'm hoping it'll fit on, because I'm going to get that same chart, the pumpkin pie chart. Okay, that's it for whips. So let me keep showing some stash. I mentioned in my last video that Sandra, a friend from Portugal, she watches my videos. She had sent me some floss from Mrs. Sados. This is Darling Blue, B-L-E-U. It's a beautiful, gorgeous silk. It is just gorgeous. Mrs. Sados is located in Spain. Her name is Raquel. She's on Etsy. M-I-S-S-U-S -S -S Sadas, S-E-D-A-S, -S, gorgeous silks. I will link her Etsy shop below. I've mentioned in previous videos the Sapphire MT Handcrafts on Etsy. I'm going to link it below. They do a stitch along with a theme, and it's called the Stitching, what is it called? stitching book club stitching book club and they the theme right now is frankenstein so if you've seen on some of the web on the facebook group pages or instagram pages people stitching on something that is frankenstein that's from her group anyway one of the themes coming up so the object is to she puts together a beautiful chart that you all stitch together and it's released in pieces so it's like a mystery you don't know what you're going to stitch until you get your piece and um so frankenstein came along and she releases different parts of the chart everybody stitches it and everybody reads the book the stitching book club i think it's called i'm going to link it below if i'm not correct on that stitching book club it's on instagram and then the etsy shop to buy your chart is Sapphire MT, like Mountain MT Handcrafts. Both of those I'll link below. But anyway, the next theme is A Christmas Carol. So I told my husband, I have always wanted the really nice leather bound books that you can buy with the gold pages, the, the gold edging on the pages, engraved. I always wanted A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I found it, I got it, I'm so excited. So it just arrived. This is the theme coming up. I think it's around December as I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Anyway, um, so I'm all ready. I, I don't normally like mystery stitch alongs because I like to know what I'm gonna stitch before I'm stitching it. And if you're stitching and it's only released in parts, it's like, what if I don't like the chart? You know what I mean? but I can't imagine me not liking a Christmas Carol chart of any kind because it's Christmas Carol means a lot to me. I love the book. I love the movie, movies, and I, I would love to stitch the chart. I don't care what it looks like. So I bought the book. It is gold. It's beautiful. It's got some just the, the beautiful um, pictures inside. This is exactly what I wanted. It was from Easton Press, I believe. And anyway, so I'm ready to go. I have my book. I plan on reading this book while everybody reads it and stitches at the same time. So check out that group if you're interested in themes. She mentioned doing, let's see, she's done A Secret Garden. She's done Pride and Prejudice. 
Frankenstein, and there was another one that I can't remember. But Christmas Carol, I will be joining, and I'm ready to go with the book. I want to say another book she said, if you've ever read Rebecca by, oh, Dumonier, Dumo I can see her name. That's another good, good book. My mom and I read that at the same time. It's called Rebecca, and it's a spooky book, kind of. And Daphne de Mornier, is that her name, the author? Anyway, that's another one that she's considering. So we'll see. She has not announced that, though. That's just something that someone posted in comments would be a good idea. Hey, what about Rebecca? And I wrote, yeah, that would be so great. You know, what a great idea. And to have a book reading cross-stitching theme book, uh, you know, chart on Rebecca. So I can't think of her name, the girl that does it. Is it Christine? I'm making stuff up now. <laughs> anyway, whatever her name is that puts this all together, she does an amazing, amazing job. And um, she commented and she said, hey, that's a possibility. I'll keep it in, you know, I'll, I'll keep it in mind. So that would be fun. Okay, some more charts. I can't remember if I've showed you showed you these Brenda Gervais when flowers bloom by with thy needle and thread that's a pretty one look at the reds that's why I got it is for the reds and then the next one I'm going to show is blues this is the same thing the prairie house sampler which you've probably seen before but I love the house and I like the blues that's why I bought it I think those are just beautiful this one prairie house sampler Another little bit of haul I got, Antique Pattern Album, which is, it almost reminded me of Domino's. What this is, is just little smalls. So you could make your, so I was looking to see if there was a color picture in the middle. They are little tiny smalls that you can make, little pillows, or I have a tree. You guys all know my tree that I have a, uh, decorations on and light ups on, uh, lights on. So anyway, this is by Antique Pattern Album, circa 1880 by Cross Stitch Antiques. But I thought those little, those would make such cute little ornaments. I like the rocking horse. I love the butterfly, the little dogs down here. Um, just adorable. I think the flowers are really pretty. And then there's these up here. These are more numbers. I like the crown and the key. So that's what that uh, looks like, but I liked them because of the little smalls. Okay, next up, I went to a D stash, or actually, this is from the D stash we had in my Stitching 911 group, Facebook group. And I bought two charts that I really liked, and she sent me a, another chart just because. Let Us Rejoice by Country Cottage Needlework. Isn't that pretty? It's just simple and pretty. So that was really nice of her to send this along with my order. What I did order is shenanigans because Christmas Carol, <laughs> Tiny Tim, isn't he adorable? And you know why I love his little crutch so much? It's because it reminds me of me because I'm always, I have been on, gosh, I have used a walker and crutches for so long. I can't even tell you guys, my walker, has a lot of miles on it. <laughs> so anyway, seeing the crutch just really, anything Tiny Tim, I just thought that was so cute. But that's Shenanigans uh, Tiny Tim. I got that off the D-Stash. And then I also got the Blessing by the Sampler Collection. That's really pretty. Simple, pretty. I like that. And I'll show a little bit more stash so it's not such a long video. I got Prairie Schooler, one for the crow. These colors are really pretty. I like that. I am going to have a sampler video, which I mentioned in the last video. That's coming. I have a lot of new sampler charts to show you guys. And that'll be fun. How about... Here's another one I've been wanting to show you guys, and I can't think of the name of it. I'm gonna show this, but I'm gonna show a picture. This is just off my printer, which I've mentioned before on Instagram is, it's called, I'll show it here, Perunas Vet. And 
This chart is from my printer. I'm gonna show her picture because I think it's a little bit better, but I think this is beautiful. What you do is you go onto Instagram, find Peruna's Fit and send her a message. She speaks English, she is located in Russia. The chart itself, if you look at it, it's in Russian and English. And even though if you look at the actual chart, oh, the chart's so easy. I'm just gonna show a tiny top of it. So you can see it's a regular chart that you can read. And she has a DMC list. Now here is what I'm talking about. The symbol colors are very easy to read. The symbols themselves are easy to read. The DMC color is easy to read. So even though a lot of this is in Russian, you just don't have to, if you don't speak Russian, then you don't have to worry about it because you can read it. Anyway, I'll show, I, if I haven't already, I'll show the picture that she posted of the chart, which came out better than my printed picture. It is beautiful. Um, two more charts that I got from Gary from um, Garon Stitchery. Fabulous service, fabulous shipping. Fox and the Rabbit, Botany Bay. The Botany Bay sampler, I'll show it up close. Isn't that beautiful? And that fabric just makes it too. So this is the Fox and Rabbit designs and it's called Botany Bay Sampler. And the other one that I got from Fox and the Rabbit, I got it from Gary. He shipped my order in 20 minutes. I'm not kidding you, that thing was mailed in 20 minutes. I also got some fabric from him. This one is Fox and the Rabbit Design, Sarah Hayward, 1859. I'll show it up close. I'll show it up really close so you can see that gorgeous border. Isn't that beautiful? Those They look like roses. So I got this one from Gary and beautiful. I just can't say enough about his shipping. Uh, 20 minutes, that was it. So I highly recommend Garon Stitchery. I'm gonna link them below if you wanna place orders. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go with new releases so that way this video is not too, too long. Carolyn Manning, Holly. Isn't that a pretty one? She's got just some gorgeous charts. Priscilla, Stitching with the Housewives on Etsy. She has a series called Snowed In with the Housewives. This one is called Snow Delivery. And then the next one that she released is called Up on the Housetop. This is cute, I'm gonna get this one. Up on the Housetop. That's also in her Etsy shop. The next one is an Etsy shop called Little Boot Stitch. The actual shop is called, that's the designer. The actual shop is called The Little Boot. And it's the first series of a little house, winter, winter and let's see, first series of Little House Winter, December. I'm gonna show it here. And in the following month, she said that they're gonna have more coming out, then the spring series will come out. Isn't that cute? She also showed new ornaments that are in her Etsy shop. They are cute. Couple more, Tiny Modernist. They have a website, tinymodernist.com. The Koala Biscornu. Isn't that cute? PDF is available. They also have a website. They said you can get a paper chart from your local needle workshops. Another one, Barbara Anna Designs, Santa's Trips. Is this not the most gorgeous thing ever? If it's not brand, brand new release, it's new to me. It's gorgeous. Madame Chantilly, she is on Etsy as M-M-E Chantilly. Fa la la. Bothy Threads, we have Alice in Wonderland. Look at this one. Isn't it beautiful? That will be released November 17th. 
That would be perfect to do Alice in Wonderland with the floss keeps that I made and the floss tags that I showed earlier. And the last one, Hands Across the Sea, had two of them. One of them I have to get, and I told Nicola I have to get it for obvious reasons, Alexander's of Lintrothen. Lint Rothen, Lint Rothen. Isn't that beautiful? But Alexander is my last name. I have to get it. <laughs> and the last one that she released, Jane Surtees, 1811. And that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I just pulled my earring out. <laughs> so discombobulated. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for visiting. I hope you come back. We will have giveaways in the next video. Giveaway winners, get a hold of me at stacer5 at aol.com and send me your address. That way I can get your packages to you. I'll show more progress next week. If I'm not back next week, because I plan on having a sampler video, that video will be probably this coming, just in a few days, this coming week. And then I'll do my next regular floss tube video, which includes more new releases, giveaways, That'll be in two weeks from today. So thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful uh, November. And thank you again for all the cards everybody sent me. I really appreciate it. Take care, guys. Bye.